Hunasiweka wapi? Hunanjifanya, hunanjua kwani weni yonzina. Leniana mpungwa waka kwani mimi mbandiva. Hola, Mwithani here. It is Monday. I feel like, I, like someone should just clap for me because... I've finally managed to actually upload a freaking video on a Monday. Hold for applause. Thank you. Um, <laughs> if you are new here, I am Muthani. This is my DIY channel. This is where I share my DIY at Zers. And we just moved into a new house, which means we have a whole new converse. So yeah, a lot of DIYs. If you haven't watched them, go watch them. Uh, I hope you've already connected, so that means you'll subscribe, so yay! And if you are returning, hey, how you doing? Uh, it's been a while, I missed you too! So anyway, this is a video that the funny, okay, let me uh, take it a step back. This video has been requested uh, a couple of times in the last couple of videos, in the comments of the last couple of videos, and... It's about my toolbox and the stuff that I have, like my DIY kit toolbox, my DIY equipment and all that stuff. And the interesting thing about this video is that before we moved from the previous house, I'd actually shot a video that had my toolbox. I, I hope I'll find that clip and I can just include like some clips over here. But I... I had shot that video, but that video was shot before I acquired new equipment because it was before my birthday and on my birthday I received a lot of equipment as birthday presents because yeah Nick is awesome so yes so I'm going to take you through what I have uh this video is supposed to go up last week the reason that didn't happen and I'd like to apologize is because I'd left most of my equipment at my sister's house because I was doing a project over there and I had carried all my things but then I didn't finish and my plan was to go like the next day but then I didn't find what I needed and then it just became this whole stretchy thing and I left my stuff there. So some of my stuff is still there but I did manage to get some of it sent over because of stuff that I was doing with it. So yes, um, I have a lot so I'm gonna shut up now. Oh my god, it's been five minutes, okay. Not five five, but yeah, I'm gonna shut up and just take you through what I have, how much it costs, if I remember. And there's also like I, I passed by ShopRite today and took some photos. I'll also insert that over here so that you can see some of the things because some of the things I didn't buy for myself, so I had to confirm the pricing and also if they're available and also yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I have, let me think. I think I want to show you what I have here. I hope this is, I'm not going to disturb you too much. Let me just show you. So I keep my equipment. Oh, I keep my equipment in this plastic container. So I have, there's this one and then there's that one. And I have another one, but that has like um, completely different, like crafty stuff, which I feel like that should be in a different video. So these containers, I bought them from the supermarket and they're very good. This, the, the, I use this and then I put this stuff in the wardrobe. So I just slide it out when I need to use it and just carry the thing. Cause most of my work is nowadays being done at the balcony, it has become my official workshop but i honestly am considering getting a workshop like renting a place and turning it into an entire workshop because there's a lot more equipment that i want to buy and i want to do a lot more like i want to create furniture and design stuff anyway that's a story for another day so before we start with all this there's one thing that's very important that i want to share and my fear is that i'll forget if i don't mention it as the first thing and it's because i'm using it here so i'm like it's very easy to forget and it's an extension cable and not just any extension cable you want to get an extension cable that has this this type of holes because with this type of holes it means you can put any type of plug into this extension cable so uh, having your own extension cable even if you're working on someone else's stuff or if you're going somewhere to do something is very important because when i walk around i have like three of this one of them is for my desk but this ones go for about oh 
I, I'm not, if I'm not wrong, they were 1275. They're not more than 1300. Let me say that. The reason behind this is because you'll buy equipment that comes with different plugs and I'll show you um, later on as we move on that come with different plugs. And the problem is you don't want to carry those those plugs that you have to attach to an extension cable or to a socket to be able to work. So if you just come with an extension cable that accepts everybody, you're good, okay? The next thing is, okay. <laughs> so it's this, this is, a, it's called a silicone gun, okay? So it doesn't come with silicone. <laughs> you buy your own silicone, but this is not the silicone for your body. <laughs> not a silicone injector this is so this is a tube of silicone and this one was 350 oh here's a is a trick if you want to buy silicone at a good rate buy it from the supermarket i buy this from naivas for 350 shillings but if you go to a hardware store and that kind of stuff this goes for 450 to 500 shillings so that's a trick so what you do is this the silicone goes in here Okay, I don't want to have to start like showing you, but like this just goes in here because it's very hard to, to press this. Let me show you. It's very hard. It has this. So this is what you, that's what you press in here. That is what you press. And then it comes out from here because it's a very, very heavy substance. So when you use this, it makes it a lot easier because now you just put this because I'm not cutting this. This comes through here and then this part this part is what pushes out the back part over here. So I have a silicone gun, bought this again, Naivas for, I think for two, not, I think for 225 shillings. I, I believe this was 225 or 325 buy it from there because when I asked at a hardware store, they told me 600. So you have been connected and I just realized I don't have a place to put this stuff once I've shared. So I'll just put it on the floor. Ooh, it's gonna be a cleanup and then I have <laughs> so here's the cool thing before I show you this there's this box I bought this box so that I can put this so I can put the stuff that's in this like my screws my wood screws and like this picture frames i'm literally reaching for something like so because what this does is it comes with compartments in here so like i can put different things different lengths like nails whatever got this from Shoprite. like Shoprite has a very vibrant diy section like if you go to Shoprite, they have this section where they sell a lot of stuff that is diy friendly for people who want to make stuff or storage, like they're thinking ahead, which is smart. So this goes for 400 shillings. After that we have, so here, I don't have the entire set because some of this stuff is at my sister's. And also this was like, they're stored in separate, separate, in separate parts of this room, but these are screwdrivers. Okay. Okay. My equipment is trying to kill me and I don't know why. So these are screwdrivers. They are like different types. This is a whole set. I took a photo. So this is one of the things that Nick got me for my birthday. So it's an entire set that has 24 pieces. You can get it from ShopRite. It goes for 1300 shillings. And I'll insert a photo over here of what the entire set looks like. That way you get what you you know what you're getting like it comes with a lot of different screws different sizes different lengths different types then i have uh, i have these two box cutters so there's this kind this is like the cheap kind but it's cool because what you i don't know if you can see is if this part gets like really bland there's those two lines you can break them at these different points to be able to have a new starting point that is fresh and whatever so not bad then there's this other one which is like fancier which i left and it got rained on now it's all rusty but with this one it's like technically the same thing but all i have to do is unscrew this part and then i can flip this blade the other way around and then now i'll have like a new blade on this side 
Cool thing about this box cutters and stuff is they last forever. This one was 500 shillings. It's by a brand called Stanley. I have looked at their quality. The quality of their stuff is very good. Like this thing is super heavy compared to this. This is like, like even when you do this, it's just like, it's just, it's swinging. It's like, and okay. I'm not trying to kill myself, but it's, it's, this is a lot more sturdier. Like you can't even move it. So I love the quality of this. But this one comes in handy when I'm doing like crafts and stuff, like you're cutting paper, things like that. This one I even use on wood and stuff, like to sharpen things or just trim off some bits. Okay. I said I have a lot of equipment, so please bear with me. And then, oh, well, this one's come. I have a fishing line. I bought this from, oh, they're box cutters. You can get them from... The Stanley one you can find from the supermarket. I know Tusky's um, stocks, not Tusky's, sorry, Naivas stocks Stanley products. And also I've seen them at Carrefour, but that's the one at Sarit Center. I never assume that all of them carry the same stuff because even other shops don't do the same. So we have now here. The other one was a River Road one. And I think River Road, if you go, you can get, now it depends on the, the quality. You can get anywhere from um some one that will cost i think 200 bob all the way to like 500 so here again so this is a fishing line i love what i like about having a fishing line is if i need to tie something and i don't want it to be seen like in the video that i'll be sharing on wednesday where it's like you're trying to have an invisible knot if you want something to look like it's float, floating it's floating off like your ceiling or something like you've seen them being used even like in supermarkets and stuff and it's very 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 strong like this stuff is really really strong and if you're not careful it can catch you like i know in movies i don't know if it's true missy dream missy jai stray fanya nini practice jai test nam too but i know in movies that they can use this thing to murder you so I ain't giving you no ideas, but I'm just saying this shit is strong, okay? So I use it to hold things, tie things, all that stuff. Bought it from um, Nairobi Sports House. This is like a very long one. And it was 220 for this entire roll. And I've had this for like two years. This is... <clears throat> these are blades, technically. They're drill bits. They are saw drill bits. Like, these ones are for making holes in wood okay this is what they looks like so they are they look like this because they're mini so let me chuck one Ooh. Oh, come on let me try. there you go so this is one so they come they're in different sizes this is one piece so this ones are for uh, putting holes like depending on whatever size I'd want and then you use this bit this is like the bit that now goes into the drill and then this is what does all the work so this one's I bought online from someone who posted I was looking for them so I saw them posted on they'd been posted on Gigi which is what OLX used to be um so on gg and they were 1500 for the entire thing it's because it's for a project you'll see it in the future it's coming through then i have these cute scissors these scissors they go everywhere i use them on my hair uh i use them to cut stuff up but it's always important to have scissors i have like four types of scissors so there's this other pair over here i have some large ones but those ones are for fabric um so yeah scissors and then okay so these are just like random things for again crafty stuff and all that stuff so these ones are like for when i'm i'm sending people gifts and stuff this is that stuff you put in the it's just like it's papers and stuff you put in the box then i have this these are like tiny cupcake what not those ones this ones if you want this ones you can get them from house of leather 
for 100 bo no 150 bo now let's get into the heavy heavy stuff which is what i know you want to know about so the heavy stuff i have let me start with my drill rather my drills because i got more than ones so this drill was the first uh, this was the first drill i bought and this one i paid i remember it was 5500 for it i bought it online i found someone who posted it they are located in the cbd it's by a company called is this a g or a c i think it's called inco yes it's a g is it a g yes inco uh limited and then like the other day i was coming from mombasa road and we went through joko road and i saw called enterprise road there's like a store that has that's like it's an inco store that has like all their appliances and supply at the appliances their equipment and stuff so i want to go there and see what else i can get what i like about them is that their prices are really really good and at the same time you actually get good quality so with this particular drill um i paid 5500 yes it was 5500 and it comes with uh drill bits it came with i think 10 of them for concrete metal and wood one two three four five six seven eight sixteen bits actually it's written at the end i was counting so these are drill bits sorry that like they're misplaced they like look weird because i've been moving things around and all and some got broken during projects they became old they've been replaced so what I'm saying is I really like the fact that it came with this drill bit and every drill comes with a thingy for locking up here. You've seen me use it before, like on insert clips or that. So this drill has really served me. I've had it for at least now two years, if I'm not wrong. The other drill that I own, which is a drill that Nick got me for my birthday because I was talking about how I wanted another drill that way. When I'm doing like a project that is screwing stuff and drilling stuff, I would drill, drill with one and then screw with the other. That was the idea. I, mean, I hope no one is thinking. So you see, when I was talking about having random, random plugs, this is what I meant. Like this plug is like ugh, weird. So this particular one is by a company called Schultz or Schultz. Depends on you know what school you went to uh do you say schedule or schedule if you say schedule then it's shoots if you say schedule then it's schools <laughs> i don't know so this is a power a power drill an impact drill and this you can get from Shoprite. it's a part of so let me they have Shoprite has a diy um a DIY equipment section. I've talked about this. So what I found out, or rather what I discovered while doing my research, is that ShopRite actually has uh, partnered with this company to make this stuff for them. So they're literally the only people who carry this stuff. Like you can only buy this kind of drill, this school's power tools made for ShopRite. It even says back here. Right, it says packed for ShopRite checkers. Yes, at ShopRite. So if you ain't got no ShopRite where you are, at, ask someone who's near ShopRite to buy for you and send it to you. Okay, so this you can get from ShopRite for two thousand shillings. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Does it doesn't? It does not come with any drill bits. It just it's you just get a drill and a drill and a manual and that's it that's all you get okay i just want to finish with the green stuff first and then we can move on to whatever else is in here so this same company uh but now this is a jig saw and for a jigsaw this is a 400 watts so that like there's different 400 watts means like different capacities in terms of um steamer it uses like how fast it goes that kind of stuff so this is a jigsaw again two thousand shillings same company schools or schultz or schultz same company 2000 bob shop right and also doesn't come with another you you only get this this sorbit 
if it's a bed it's a, it's i with this large menos they're called teeth that's actually what they're called uh, for a saw it only comes with this one and this is like the largest one you can get but the same store shoprite has like this pack that has like 10 of them wow no 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 ziggy no ziggy um at shoprite you can find they have like an ini a packet of different sizes of this particular saw thingies and they go for 600 bob for like 10 of them so you can, when you pick this one up for 2k, just make sure you have an extra six sock. That way you can buy one that comes with different menus because then you'll be able to work on different types and different thicknesses of wood when you're using this. Because like with this one, you can only use it on like really thick pieces of wood. The thinner they become, the more damage it does. Okay, so yeah. Last but not least is this sanding machine so um the only downside to the product is that you don't get um you don't get spare bits or spare like you don't get like you have to go buy something else which is fine because if you think about it buying a sanding machine would cost you about five thousand bob but then getting it for 2k and having to just go find the sanding paper that you have to put on top of it as a yeah it doesn't sound like a nini doesn't sound like a hassle so this is their sanding machine it doesn't come with this it comes with one piece of sanding paper and then what i did was i literally made this from my actual sanding paper because that one was literally one piece and i'm yet to find the same kind that works with this and you can tell mine is rough because it's like it's a diy one where i put i put these holes you put the holes where these holes are because that's where like the stuff comes out of i don't know i think maybe i'm not sure but i really like this machine it has really really been helpful especially because i'm really bad at hand sanding thingies like i used to depend on nick for that stuff i wouldn't even lie so again two thousand shillings Whew. Shoprite doesn't come with this thing but that's not a it's like don't let that deter you from buying it get it it's really really good okay cool so here is a toolbox <laughs> i'm laughing at myself because i know this toolbox is empty so this is my toolbox and i don't know where half the stuff is well i do but like i just don't keep it in here oh at least there's two things cool so <laughs> okay i'm not sure what that was but we'll be hopeful so this is a toolbox this toolbox was the first thing i invested in when i was like going full-on diy and i bought this for oh my god how much i think it was two thousand bob if not like 1500 it was on jumia i bought this on jumia and the other things that are, were inside it it comes with let me tell you everything it comes with it comes with pliers it comes with a two two meter measuring tape it comes with i had another thing it comes with here yes it comes with four screwdrivers so it has two short ones and two long ones a star and a flat one it also comes with a tester an electric tester it comes with a hammer which is at my sister's it comes with a box cutter and it comes with uh, an electrician tape electric tape as well and it comes with this as well i've hardly used this on anything but it's also a part of the toolbox so for me when i looked at it i was like okay that toolbox kind of made sense and also i didn't do a lot of research i was like i want a toolbox and then i just searched and then i saw it on jimmy and i was like oh this looks okay and i bought it and it was delivered and all that so I hardly use this container for anything, so you can tell. So yeah, so that's a toolbox. Or not? Leo, moving on swiftly. The other thing that I have is this container full of nails. Okay, these are one inch nails. So one inch is literally an inch. So one inch. 
one inch nails that's that's how big they are so this one again like i'm telling you naivas is a plug they've really come through for me bought this from naivas for 225 a whole freaking kg for 225 so they have smaller containers for like 70 bob 100 bob then we got my glue gun this is my hot <laughs> my hot glue gun this is actually th that the toolbox wasn't the first thing i ever bought it was this this was my first investment as a diy -er. and i bought this oof back in 2015 actually it was late 2014 oh my god look at me <laughs> I bought this for my YouTube channel, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to do this back in 2015 and I was not really doing a good job. I got this online. I don't remember the store that I got it from. The, the company is, again, we're back in this group of schools, is Bosch or Bosk, depending on, you know, what your teacher told you because your teacher was right. Don't, don't believe anyone else. Okay, so Bosch, Bosk. This is the, the glue gun that I got from them. And I think it was very, very good quality. It still is because this many years down the line, uh, that being what, five years down the line, four, because my math is off, four years down the line, and this thing has not budged, like other than just glue sticking everywhere, still intact. Like it's, it's this glue gun is the best decision I ever made. This was, when I bought it, it was 3300 But right now, you can get glue guns from, like, a lot of different stores. You can get from Textbook Center, um, for anywhere from... I know Textbook Center stores... What is stores? Stocks. Textbook Center stocks, glue guns that go for about 1200 to 1700 And if you do River Road, same pricing. The advantage of River Road is you get a variety in terms of size. Like, what I noticed with with textbook center is they just have like a one size thing but river road go to a shop called this is like my all-time favorite shop it's called kanea it is behind the petrol station not the petrol station the fire station uh on river road on this upside new material fire st yeah, yes yeah fire station on this side on the left side so if as if you're walking down it would be on the left side go get there they have really good pricing they have very good Whatever's, and that's where I buy my glue sticks because also the pricing. I buy my glue sticks for 45 shillings a piece. And if you go buy a glue stick from textbook center, the same type of glue stick, you will get it for 70 bob. If you go to ShopRite, they have smaller ones, six of them for 275. So get you glue sticks from Kanea for 45 bob a sheet. Then I have, this is not rose water regardless of what this bottle says this is wood glue this is wood glue that i've put in this and i've turned this into a squeeze bottle as you may have seen in a certain diy if you haven't seen it what are you doing what are you doing with your life who ya watch Ugh. you i see you and then i have another squeeze bottle this is more glue <laughs> this is more wood glue like I said, if you want to be fancy, you want to go buy a bottle, that's okay. It goes for like 395 shillings. I don't feel like spending 395 shillings on a bottle, especially if it's something that I can make. So this was a mustard bottle. Now it's a wood glue bottle and it works. Okay. Very easy to squeeze things out. I have, I don't know what these things are called. I will not even lie. I don't know. They're just, it's a type of a screwdriver but for a screw that is not a star or a nini, like, let me show you. I know I have something that has, yes. So for instance, like this, yes. Like my jigsaw in here, you see the way these two screws look. It's, it's not a star. It's not your normal, your normal screw. It's not, oh, it's not like the one that's like this or just straight. So these are the ninis for opening that kind of stuff on one side. Then on the other side, there's a different type of screw that I guess looks like this. It needs something that looks like this to enter it for it to work. So it's a two, two in one. I got this from, from Kafu, Carrefour 
sorry, center. They were doing this whole, so there's this other shop called, there's this other brand called Tronic that has a lot of equipment and stuff like that because I bought a grinder by them, which is not here because it's with the, my guy for, the guy I get glass from. He borrowed it. So, yeah, Tronic is another nini. They're trying to, like, get people to buy their stuff and get the things from them and all that stuff. So you can get from Carrefour. They're selling. This one's I bought for 500 bob. So it was on sale because I know that's not the price it goes for. It was on sale and you, I think they probably still have it. Just go to that. Like, they have a big box that's written promotion. They have electrician's tape. They have this kind of things. They have... TV guides and TV guards, TV guards, that kind of stuff. A lot of really cool things. We have a mask that's broken. I have like five of these. They're all over the place. Uh, so this is a dust mask. Dusk. Dusk. Dust. Oh, okay. This is a dust mask. Oh, wow. You get it. Okay. You got in it. This is a dust mask and I use this when I'm like, when I'm sewing things, cutting things and things are just like flying in the air. And I also have an eye mask, which is at my sister's because I was using it to drill and stuff. So this you can get, again, Naivas is the plug. Don't buy this from a hardware. I saw a hardware, I was selling it for 125. If you go to Naivas with 125, you get two of them, two, because one goes for 45 shillings, 45. Nivas is a plug. Then I have paint brushes with cut found them. I have paint brushes. So this is a small one. Again, I buy my paint brushes from Nivas. I don't buy from hardwares. Hardwares are a lot more expensive. So I just go like this one, I think was 45 bob. Yeah, it was like 40 bob or 45 or 30 shillings. Then I have these tiny pliers. These ones are for jewelry making and I use them for other random things which I probably shouldn't say here but you'll probably see me doing them at some point somewhere along this journey that you decided to take with me because you were dope. You just, ah, look at it. Ah. Okay, and then I have, ugh. I always make sure I have white spray paint and black spray paint because when stuff goes left and i need to paint something white always comes through plus those are the two colors that i always go for whenever i'm doing like any paint work so i have this again buy this shit from naivas i know i feel like i'm just naivas naivasing buy from naivas because it's a lot cheaper this goes for 250 or 350. If you go to other stores, they'll sell it for between 450 and 500. So my saw is not here. My hacks, my hacksaw, my hacksaw and my handsaw, my tiny mini handsaw are not here. But I always make sure that I have extra, this extra cutting things. I don't know what this thing is called. I don't know. Does it say? Me, I just know it's a, it's a menu. It's a, it's a. It's some sumeno. <laughs> then I have these caster wheels, which uh, I had used in a previous DIY, then I removed them. My plan is to use them in something else, um, like a table for this room for doing like cutting stuff and then just being able to push it to one end or the other. So that's the stuff that I have with me here. So other than like what I've mentioned here, the things that I'm missing are the hammer, which I'll just include like um, I know I have footage of me using it. So there's the hammer. Then there's the hacksaw, the large one, the Stanley one. The hammer came with the toolkit. The hacksaw I bought from Naivas, 425 shillings. And then the mini one I bought from Kafu, Carrefour, for 150 shillings. And then what else, what else, what else is missing? Nothing else, I don't think. Okay. And the mask, I got the mask from Naivas for, I think the mask was at, 150 or 180 i'm not sure and then mm, what else what else what else yeah like that's it i don't know if you have any questions about this equipment and whatever um if there's any equipment like okay i'm gonna be, i've decided that every monday i'll be doing a series about 
DIYing. It wouldn't be like a full on project. I'll just be doing like tips, things I've learned, things to avoid. Um, like for instance, there's that thing where I said I can show you how to patch up a wall you've drilled that way when you're moving out, your landlord will not know and they won't be like, that will be 10,000. Okay, so that kind of stuff. Like it will be like a tip uh learning experience things that i've learned that way if you're starting out you don't have to make the same mistakes that i made um if there's any in equipment that i've invested in that was like a waste of time a waste of money a waste of energy i'll let you know so be tuning in every monday at 7 p.m i don't know what i'm doing with my hands every monday 7 p.m i'll be posting a video about that kind of stuff and i felt like this was a good way to start it off and thank you to everyone who said they wanted me to do this video because Great minds, great minds think her like. Okay, and then on Wednesday, I'm starting a new series. Yeah! So on Wednesday, it's gonna be episode one of Here Comes Mothoni. Here Comes Mothoni is going to be me doing projects for our people. So it started off with like family members, and I know it's gonna just like, you know, spiral into you you and you and we can do like a whole entire room you know like a bedroom we can do just like making someone like a cabinet or something like you know just if we can have fun with it because here comes my body yeah i'm really excited about this new series if you can't tell i am very very excited and thank you so much for watching this video thank you for spending your time with me i know this is going to be a long one but you are a true one for sticking around this far Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have any questions whatsoever about the equipment, about durability, about anything, 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 anything that I've mentioned here, anything that I haven't mentioned. Feel free to leave it in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up because I know you like it. You do. I know you do. I can see you smiling already. Ooh, you're the best. Give it a thumbs up because in doing so, you're telling YouTube that you like this video, that camera just went off. We're gonna finish up with you. <laughs> so give this video a huge thumbs up. Okay, like the size of the thumbs up doesn't matter. Just click on thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so, especially if you like what you saw. Okay, cool. So thank you so much. I will see you on Wednesday with that really, really cool DIY. And then I'll see you again on Friday. So Wednesday, 7 p.m. to Patane Hapa Papa. It's actually Papa Hapa, but. You know what I mean. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, like for reals. Okay. It is Papa Hapa. Papa Hapa. Hapa Papa. See, it's very easy to confuse that shit. Papa Hapa. <laughs>